Elizabeth Kalemera was among the people who attended the event that marks the start of the national campaign to address defilement, child marriage, and promotion for positive parenting. When she was just 15, Kalemera got pregnant and her parents chased her away from home. I lost my opportunity to education and I tried to hide the pregnancy for as long as I could. I remember writing a note to one of my cousins asking her, telling her of my plan and asking her to take care of my mother and making sure she never ever gets angry or ever looks for me because I was planning to disappear. With no one to turn to, Karemera thought of ending her life as a solution to her problems. A number of things happened at my family level. A lot of anger, bitterness, and also the feeling that I no longer belonged. So I did not know what I was going to do next. So I thought, maybe. Kalemera says her uncle took her in and she returned to school after giving birth. Today I am in position to raise my hand straight up and account for that baby I had when I was 16. And currently she's at the university pursuing a bachelor's in economics. And this is what I wish to see for all our girls all over the country. The Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, said that many times police mismanage defilement cases. 70% of the defilement cases are mismanaged. This is a very bad statement, especially to the representatives of police who are here. Police officers should desist from taking bribes to exonerate defilers by turning police posts and stations into negotiating forums for the fighters. We believe it is uh, cases like those of defilement where the accused should not be granted bail. The Minister for Education and Sports, Janet Mseveni, who was represented by Health Minister Jane Ruth Cheng, called for a concerted effort from all stakeholders to address this problem. This campaign will run for a period of 12 months and we shall evaluate our performance after one year. And when we see girls in thousands and thousands defiled, sexually abused, becoming pregnant or married off at childhood, the whole village has to come together to awaken the conscience of the village. Aaron Mukama, NTV Weekend Edition.